Hello sports fans and welcome to day two of the Planet Zoo World Championship. We're back at the Gulpi Arena and the crowd is certainly ready to see some action today. Yesterday with the track events, we saw Africa coming out on top there, Europe and South America both holding out in second place with a bronze and a silver medal each. So let's see if today's events can turn things around for the losing team so far, or if Africa is going to maintain their winning place. Today's first event is our final track event for the championship, and that's the hurdles. This is still a speed event, so the animals will make their way from the starting line to the end of the track, but they do now have to negotiate the hurdles in between as well. Up first is the dingo for Oceania, the llama for South America, and the pronghorn for North America. So we're here at the starting line. Who's going to be the first over? It's the Llama taking the initiative this time. Coming up to the first hurdle. Just a bit of hesitation there. And there we go, over the first one. Dingo's not far behind at the first hurdle too now. And they're over. Now for the Pronghorn. They're a little behind. Quite a bit of hesitation, unfortunately. Yeah, a little bit slower on the leap as well, even. Dingo's been the Llama over the second hurdle. Llama seems to have a bit of difficulty there. They're over, but the Dingo's definitely well ahead. Approaching the third hurdle with a good lead there. I think Pronghorn's still well behind in third place. Don't think the Llama's going to catch up with Dingo now. Yeah, they've, they've taken that one slowly there. Just the final stretch for Dingo. They're not the fastest runners, but they've made it over the hurdles pretty smoothly, I'd say. Yep, that's first place for the Dingo. Llama just behind in second, and the Pronghorn, well, they are quite a bit behind. So, not a great score for North America, but a nice win for Oceania there. With three down and three to go, that could be a medal for Oceania. That'll be their first in the competition. Would be nice if we saw something like that. I don't have high hopes for the Pronghorn getting through to the top three, though. Anyway, let's move on for the next three competitors. This time it's the Dole for Asia, Reindeer for Europe, and we have the West African Lion representing Africa. Back at the start line, who's going to be out the gate first? Looks like it's Lion over the start line first. Although they're going very slowly. None of the competitors this time seem to be in a rush. This will surely affect their run times. Yep, Reindeer and Lion seem to be neck and neck, albeit slowly. Not entirely sure where the dole is. They don't seem to be paying attention at all. Oh, and that's first hurdle down for the lion. And reindeer as well now. Yeah, Dole. Dole is just out of the competition, I fear. Lion's gearing up for the second hurdle. Still not in any kind of rush. Oh no, there we go. He started running, <laughs> finally. One hurdle to go. Lion is well out in front. Nowhere near the reindeer. No sign of the dole either. Just the sprint leg to go. And that's a good finish for Lion there. Even with the slow start, that's beat out the Dingo. So Africa scoring top again. That's Reindeer over the line as well now. Looks to be a top score as well. But we should check on that Dole. Yep, sad to say, they've not even got past the first hurdle. Unfortunately, that counts as a did not finish. Never mind, let's have a look at the final scoreboard. That's another gold medal for Africa with the West African line coming out on top. And then it's a first medal for Oceania with the Dingo coming in second. Third with a bronze medal is Reindeer for Europe. Commiserations to South America with the Llama coming in fourth. Pronghorn Antelope for North America coming in fifth. And unfortunately, as we saw, the Dole just didn't finish. So unfortunately, Asia is still at the bottom. That concludes our track racing. Next up, we have something a little different. We've got the Assault Course. So round four is indeed the assault course and this is a climbing event so putting some different skills to the test here. Contestants need to navigate across the planks, tight ropes and platforms to the finish line so using their agility on all four legs. First up for this round we're racing the koala for Oceania, capuchin monkey for South America and the cougar for North America. So at the starting line who's going to lead the pack? It's the cougar starts us off today. Looks like Cougar's making the first move. Yep, that's the Cougar starting us off. A nice confident start there. Not far behind the Capuchin Monkey. 
Now, these little guys are known for their speed on the ropes on the other side of the scale. We're going to have a problem with the koala. This is the fastest they go. So with Capuchin and the cougar already on the tightrope walks, poor koala is still at the beginning. Capuchin now flying ahead. This is certainly their time to shine. This will be a very quick time indeed. Whereas this guy, we're going to be here a while with this guy. Capuchin expertly negotiating the tight ropes there, not even slowing down. That's the last ramp to contend with. Then over the fallen trees and that takes us right through to the end. So super quick time here. Little slow off the dismount there, but I don't think it matters. Yep, there we go. Well done, Capuchin. That was a brilliant effort. See, sometimes it pays to be a bit smaller. They didn't have trouble over some of the tight ropes and things, probably because of their size. For the likes of the cougar, it's taken a little more time so they can get a bit more steady on their feet down the ramps and stuff. Yep, see, this has taken a lot longer. No leaps or anything. Being very careful where they're standing. Now, koala, only up to the first rope trap. Oh dear. I mean, they're pretty sure-footed where they are going, but no sense of urgency. Cougar is finally at the finish line. Little bit of speed over the line, but the rest of their run could definitely not keep up with the capuchin. So a good finish there, at least they did finish, but not sure, I don't think they're going to be in the top three. So we're just left with the koala now. Oceania might be regretting putting koala forward for this, not even halfway. Coming up to another rope walk here, and they're handling it really well. I mean, they're pretty elegant when they do get across them. There's just no speed at all. Next is a nice straight. Now, this is starting to get a bit silly. I mean, Koala has, well, they pretty much stopped now. I think they're having a little bit of a breather. How long do we stick around waiting for them to move, though? Right, it's been another two minutes, so double what we were up to before. Koala has not moved an inch. I've made an executive decision. We're calling this a did not finish because it's going to be another half an hour for them to get to the finish line and I'm not prepared to wait that long. So scores for the first lot to run the course. Capuchin Monkey sitting comfortably in front. Cougar sitting a ways behind. So may not be medal worthy. We'll have to wait and see. Koala did not finish. Next part of this round, we have the Bengal Tiger up for Asia, Eurasian Lynx for Europe, and the Ring-tailed Lemur for Africa. So, once again, just waiting to see which animal is going to take the initiative first. And that's the Eurasian Lynx choosing to climb first. Like the other cats taking part in this competition, they take their time making sure their paws are steady. We've also got the Lemur moving now, going very quickly. Lynx is confident on the ropes, but I don't think they're going to keep up with the lemur. They're going a lot quicker. Yep, look at them go there. So quick, so smooth. Could even be quicker than the capuchin at this rate. It's going to be a tight finish for the first place. That's straight across the tightrope. Not even stopping for balance. Lynx and Bengal Tiger are sort of getting there. They're just taking a while. Wait, did you see that leap from the Bengal? <laughs> you are very good at leaping, aren't you? Well, that's Lima coming into the finish line. And, oh, what a score. That's Africa top again. It's beat out Capuchin. Africa still dominating the leaderboard. Olynx is having a little bit of trouble on the old platform here. Can't find the footing properly. Work your way around it slowly. I'm sure it'll be fine. Whoa. Oh no, that was out of bounds. Oh, oh dear. That You know what that means? They go back to the start. So a massive turn of events here on the assault course. Eurasian Lynx has been sent back to the start. That is making a huge advantage for the Bengal Tiger. They're taking their time over the platforms, but unless something goes massively wrong, Bengal Tiger's pretty much guaranteed to come in second on this one. They've only got a short way to negotiate now, so it is looking good for them. That was a real shake-up on the course, though. It does seem a little unfair that if an animal jumps outside of the fence, it's automatically bounced back to the start. But if it had happened to any of the other animals, they would have been treated exactly the same. Anyway, here's Bengal Tiger at the end, and not a great time, but probably much better considering what happened to the Lynx there. 
Speaking of, poor Link's there, slowly making their way across the rest of the course, probably feeling a little bit defeated because of what happened before. Or maybe they're just being more careful to make sure it doesn't happen again. We're up to about the same point. Whoa, oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Ah, they keep falling. Be careful, Links. If you go back to the start again, you're going to be a DNF. Oh, well, it was a bit of a scary jump there, but I think we're clear. We might actually be clear now. Just the tight ropes ago now. Ooh, careful. Once we're over this, we're right at the end. Moving really slowly, but with purpose. And I think they just have problems when they're moving from one piece of scenery to another. Let's see how they do on the tree trunks. Not bad. Not bad at all. If only they were a little quicker. This could have been a good round. If something had happened to the bangle and they both ended up head to head, that would have been funny. As it is, we've just had to stick around for the Eurasian Lynx here. Hey ho, you can't win them all. Good job, Lynx. Can't really blame you for being a bit of a slow coach. And if it counts for anything, I think the Bengal would have been quicker without the restart as well. Anyway, let's check out the scoreboard for the Assault Course result. Well, that's another gold medal for Africa. They are seriously dominating the whole championship at this point. A well-deserved silver medal there for the Capuchin Monkey for South America. And for North America, it's their first medal with the Cougar coming in with bronze. So what does this mean for the overall leaderboard? Africa way out in front, they've earned the top spot in every event. No other continent has come close to matching their power yet. South America now in second place with their two silver medals and a bronze. And Europe have dropped down to third place with one silver and two bronze. We have some new contenders, Oceania picking up their first silver in the events today and North America picking up their first bronze today. So, only Asia left right now that hasn't got any medals. We'll see what we can do about that tomorrow. Join us then for day three, where things are going to get a little bit wetter than they've been so far. So, I bet you can guess what's coming up tomorrow with that clue. Until then, thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.